People believe they have 12 gods and this is the story of three powerful gods among them. As the film begins, a god named, Zeus, is among the gods, and he is the king of gods. He is also a god of sky and storm as well as a king. On the other hand, Poseidon, is the god of the sea and earth. The third is the brother of Poseidon and is the god of underworld and death. Zeus has made some rules for all the gods. None will take the other god's power or will not try to take his power. But at the start, we discover Zeus's powers have been stolen due to it. Whenever he sends a storm in the world there is no lightning. He suspects that Poseidon Percy, the main character in this film, has stolen his powers. Poseidon was making Zeus understand that Percy doesn't know he is the son of a god. He says how he can rob anything when he doesn't know anything about him. Zeus wasn't listening to him and said if my stolen lightning bolt will not be returned within 14 days. There will be a fight on Mount Olympus where the gods live. Now the scenes shift to Percy. He lives on the earth and is shown underwater and has the ability to stop breathing underwater. It is also discovered Percy can't read English because of sickness. Percy is shown in a Greek museum by his school side. And even not knowing Greek he reads it easily when his master says. The other teacher of Percy gets shocked seeing this. And asks him to come behind her and takes him into an empty room. Percy was shocked that his teacher was standing on a height. She attacks Percy while changing into a weird creature. She was asking Percy while beating him to tell me where his bolt was. Percy doesn't know anything and Zeus has sent this creature whose bolt is stolen. Percy's friend arrives when the creature was hitting. He was Percy's guard from God's side. The professor was also there with Percy's guard and asks him what was the creature asking. Percy tells him she was asking about any bolt. Professor knows now the truth of Percy has been revealed. That actually he is a son of a god. Professor instructs Percy's guard to transport Percy and his mother to the island reserved for demigods. The guard does the same and Percy's mother is shown driving the car. But their car loses its balance because of a creature. Their car gets into an accident and it tilts. They were unable to get off the car. Percy's guard changes his lower part into an animal's body and comes out while breaking the window. They run to the camp that was made for demigods. Percy goes inside with his guard. But Percy's mother was a human and was stopped by an invisible shield. Percy's mother didn't come inside but a monster holds her from outside. Percy and his guard decide to fight to save his mother. Percy takes out a pen given by his professor and it was changed into a sword after clicking. During this, the monster has burnt Percy's mother. Percy becomes furious seeing this and attacks it with his sword. It was a huge monster and throws Percy far in a single attack. It again moves near him to attack him in order to hit him. Percy bends down and the horn of the dragon breaks while getting stuck in a tree. Getting a chance, Percy ends the monster while taking the horn off the tree. Percy gets faint after doing this. Percy awakes and finds himself inside the camp. Percy's god takes Percy for a tour of this camp. He was told that he is Poseidon's son. Grover isn't just his friend but also his guard. Like I told you, here he meets with his professor. The professor has given him the pen and Percy discovers he is a Chiron, half human and half horse. The professor is the head of this camp asks the demigods we have to welcome Percy. Few games were planned for his welcome. Two teams were made for a game, a red and a blue team. The red team was led by the demigoddess Annabeth. The other team was led by a demigod Luke. Percy was also included in them and they were fighting with the swords. Percy doesn't know how to use it. Percy was losing here and Luke says the one who will bring the other team's flag will win. Luke was stopping the guards while fighting. He asks Percy to bring the flag. Percy faces Annabeth who has started fighting with him. Percy doesn't know how to fight. He becomes injured and then hears his father Poseidon's voice. He was asking him to touch the water. Poseidon was sea god so the water has healed his son and gave him powers as well. Because of it, he was fighting with his opponent team easily. After defeating them, he also defeats Annabeth and takes the flag. Like this, the blue team means the team of Percy and Luke wins. The professor throws a party for their victory and everyone was enjoying the party. Suddenly, the god of hell appears from the fire they have set in the camp. God was Poseidon's brother like I told you before. He was Percy's uncle and was saying your mother is still alive. 
She is with us and as you will return the bolt we will return your mother. God disappears while saying this and Percy goes to the professor. He says I have to save my mother and the professor says yes we can do this. But for this, we have to go to the god Zeus and makes him believe. That you didn't steal anything. You don't have the light bolt. He agrees with the professor for a short time because he thinks. If he will say something else the professor will disagree. He was moving at night to save his mother. Meanwhile, Percy's guard named Grover comes behind him. Percy forbids him don't chase me but he says Poseidon God has appointed me as your guard. And you can't go anywhere without me. Meanwhile, Annabeth arrives, and was saying to Percy I am a good fighter and will be useful for you. Percy tells them we have to go to hell. To the third god shown in the movie but they don't know how they will go underworld. Annabeth says Luke can help us. They go to Luke and he helps them while giving them the underworld map. Along with the map, he has given Percy a special pair of shoes. The shoes have the ability to fly and Luke also gives him a shield. Why Luke has given him the shield? We will know this later. Luke tells them you can go to the underworld with the help of this map. But you will need a special stone to come out. It means the ones who have to go out of the underworld will need the stone. Now you are three so you will need three stones. He tells when they ask that the map will also tell you the way to stones. They are shown inside a house with the help of the map to get the stone. They find many statues inside the house. Annabeth also finds many coins there. It was the money of the demigod's world. Annabeth gives it to Percy because they will need it further. Annabeth meets a lady. She was telling her while weeping that someone has made her husband a statue. Grover understands while seeing the statues, these statues actually are humans. They are under the effect of a snake-headed girl. She makes anyone a statue while seeing into their eyes. Grover tells this to Percy and the lady comes to Annabeth. She was telling her I am cursed and it was given by her mother. She is a god and that lady also wants to make Annabeth a statue. Annabeth doesn't open her eyes. Seeing into the eyes of the lady near her makes her statue. Percy is shown distracting the snake lady. She distracts from Annabeth and now she captures Percy. Grover and Annabeth come in a car to help him. They hit them with a car. Getting a chance, Percy ends the snake lady while changing his pen. Into a sword. He keeps her head. The first stone they find in that lady's hand after ending her. After taking it, they were moving towards the second stone. It was in a museum. They notice the second stone is in the hand of statue of Annabeth's mother. The statue is kept in a secure area of the museum. They decide they will get the stone at night from here. They do the same thing and visit at night. Annabeth's skills cause the guards to pass out. Percy climbs up the statue while wearing the magical sneakers of Luke. He takes the second stone. As they take the second stone five men to arrive there and change into a Hydra creature. That creature has five heads. They were five and as the creature attacked Percy the stone falls from his hand. Percy was on another side and the stone fell on the other side. So he has to pass in front of the creature to get the stone. Percy moves forward while fighting with them. He cuts one of the heads of the creature but Annabeth says you have done wrong. Now its two new heads will grow instead of one head. It happened the same. Percy also gets his stone. He picks it and they reach the gate while escaping from the fire of the monster. The creatures didn't let the gate open through their powers. Percy's guard Grover puts the snake lady's head in front of the creature. Due to it, they become statues and they easily come out. They have two stones and have to go to the underworld while searching for another stone to prove their truth. It is told at the start they just have 14 days. There will be a fight of God after 14 days on Mount Olympus. Nine days have passed and they discover from the map they will get the third stone from a hotel. This wasn't a hotel but was actually a trap. Reaching there, they were served cakes and they forget after having cakes that for what they come here. They start doing parties like others. During the party, Percy hears his father Poseidon's voice. He was asking him to do what he came for and he comes to his senses after this. He also brings his companions into senses and they find the third stone. They try to move out but couldn't find the path. Grover sits in the car inside the hotel and makes Percy and Annabeth sit with him. And moves out while breaking the door of the hotel. Reaching out, they discover they have wasted their left days. Now they have 12 hours to save Percy's mother. 
and they reach a safe with the help of a map while finding their way to the underworld. When they decided it, there was something written outside the cave in Greek. Percy has read it because of being a demigod and the door of the cave opens. They move inside and meet a man at the door of hell. He was telling them you can go inside the hell after dying. Percy gives him the money that was given by Annabeth in the first house. The man takes them in a boat to the underworld god means the god of hell. As they come inside that god's house the strange creature is dog surround them. They were stopping them to come inside meanwhile, the god's wife arrives. She was also a god. Percy asks the underworld god where is my mother. He says in reply firstly, you will tell us about the lightning bolt. He tells that he don't have it and the god throws a ball there. And Percy's mother appeared from it. Percy hugs his mother while throwing everything in the land. The shield starts shining that was given by Luke. God discovers from its shining that the lightning bolt is inside the shield. B accuses Percy has the shield so he was feeling that Percy has stolen it. Percy tells him this shield doesn't belong to him. None listens to him in the underworld God opens the back door because of his lies. It was the door of hell and it was pulling them towards it. They did not. Listen meanwhile, the god's wife takes the lightning bolt from his hand and throws it at a far distance. Percy asks her why did you help us? She tells them this isn't a good god and he is forcefully stopped in the underworld. He would destroy the world if he will get the bolt. The goddess asks them to leave but as we know they need some special stones to leave. They have three stones but they were four. Now there was Percy's mother with them. The goddess stops Percy's guard Grover. Now they reach a special building while using the stones leaving the underworld. From there they will find the way to Olympus. They meet Luke and it is discovered the lightning bolt was stolen by Luke. Percy asks him why did he done this and gave me the lightning bolt. Luke replies that actually, I am fed up with the god's powers. That's why he has stolen his lightning bolt. So there will be a fight among gods and they will be ended. Later, demigods will be in power. Luke has also taken the bolt from his hand. Percy will not accept his defeat and fights with him to get the bolt. He wasn't successful yet so Percy uses his powers. He attacks Luke with the water while pulling water from many tanks. He fell into a stream nearby. Percy picks the lightning bolt. Percy gets the lightning bolt and Annabeth has opened the door. From where they have to go to Olympus. They discover reaching Olympus that the gods were ready to fight. And Percy reaches here on time and returns Zeus his lightning bolt. He tells him actually, Luke has stolen this not Percy. He also tells Luke's purpose. That he wants to bring demigods in power while ending the gods. Zeus was happy with Percy and the fight overs among them. Poseidon comes to meet him but Percy is shown angry with his father. Because his father didn't stay with him and Poseidon meets him alone. He tells the gods have also some rules. And according to it, the gods can't live with our kids. You are always with me in my heart. Percy agrees with his father hearing this. Percy is shown with his mother in the next scene. She comes with him to leave him to the demigod camp. Percy's guard is also shown with him going inside. His name was Grover and release while asking Zeus for it. Percy and Annabeth are shown in their camps peacefully. Annabeth was training Percy. The first part of the explanation is now complete. Now I will explain the second part of this movie. The childhood of the main character Percy, Grover, and Annabeth is shown in this part. There was another girl with them and she was God Zeus's daughter. They were running to their camp. There were the creatures behind them who eat demigods. Zeus's daughter becomes furious at those creatures and decides to fight to save her friends. She asks her friends to go inside the camp. While fighting, the creatures have ended Zeus's daughter. Zeus likes his daughter's sacrifice. Zeus can't waste the sacrifice of his daughter. He changes his daughter into a tree that makes a shield on their camps. Cyclops can't come inside their camp because of this tree. The scene cuts and many years pass. They have grown elder and now playing games. A new character is shown in the movie named Clara. Clara is War God's daughter and was playing with Percy right now. She has many powers as she is the War God's daughter. She has defeated Percy while using powers. Percy is called by the professor who was a Chiron. As I stated at the beginning of the explanation, half human, and half horse from behind. Reaching there, Percy discovers he is not alone but Poseidon has another son. He has a brother. He is a cyclops means he has one eye. 
This Cyclops was named Tyson and Percy was happy to see Tyson. Tyson has the power to feel things even from a distance. Like he was feeling while having food there is a robotic bull is coming to their camp. A bull is shown coming to them in a short time. It has come inside the camp while breaking the shield. It was attacking everyone and Clara who was powerful moved forward to fight with it. But the bull was more powerful than her and can even take the fire out from its mouth. It was about to throw fire at Percy while moving Clara from the front. Meanwhile, Percy puts the pen of his professor that changes into a sword into its mouth. The pen has changed into a sword while going inside due to it, the bull gets broken. As it dies Luke arrive and Percy was shocked to see him. Because he has ended Luke and asks him you were dead. He doesn't reply but asks Percy will you help me in my purpose still. Still, he wants to defeat gods and bring demigods in power and says many demigods are supporting me. He says you must know the matter about which there was an investigation from the professor. Percy gets confused about what is the matter he doesn't know. Luke disappears while saying this. The camp's people come here and were standing near the tree near the grave of Zeus's daughter. The tree which makes shield on their camp. Professor discovers Luke has given poison to this tree. The tree has become weak because of the poison and the shield also becomes weak automatically. The professor is shown making medicine for the tree. Percy questions him what is the matter that will happen in the future and I don't know about it. Professor sends him to a skeleton that was a future teller in their world. Percy questions it and the skeleton tells him there were many gods thousands of years ago. Their leader was Kronos and was a cruel god. He was so cruel that even eats his own kids. Being annoyed by his cruelty his kids decided to end him. It is discovered his kids are those three powerful gods about whom we are told at the start. It means Zeus, Poseidon, and his brother. He is the underworld's god and they have ended him with a special sword. Later, there were only twelve gods who rule this world. It says the answer to the question you are asking is Kronos will return. He will take revenge on Olympus and the other world. He will be ended by the kids of the gods who lived in Olympus. Before ending Kronos the demigods have to fight with each other. The winner will defeat Kronos. After defeating Kronos, if that demigod is nice, the world will be fine. But if he will be an evil demigod will destroy this world. Percy gets scared for a minute because he was thinking now he has to fight with Luke. He also discovers maybe Luke was warning him to fight. Annabeth and Grover are shown. They come to the professor brought a way to make Zeus's daughter fine. They show him a fleece and as they will put this on the tree she will be fine. Their security shield will be as powerful as before. The demigods will be saved in it. The camp leader says I knew about it. This covering is under the sea in between the Bermuda Triangle. It will be dangerous to take it out. Annabeth makes him agree and they gather the demigods at night. They don't take Annabeth's name but presents her research with their name. That they have found a way to make the shield stronger. They need a covering for this. We have to bring it from the Bermuda Triangle. They were told that a Cyclops protects that covering. And we have to bring that covering from the Cyclops. It is told the Cyclops eat the creatures who are the protectors of demigods like Grover. They choose Clara to fight with the Cyclops. They also choose a man like Grover whom Cyclops eat will go with them as a trap. Annabeth becomes depressed hearing Clara but Grover was happy that he is saved. Because the Cyclops can eat him in the worst condition. Claire and the other man were sent to bring the covering from their tribe. Percy and Annabeth are shown making Grover agree to go with them. They were telling him it is important to bring that covering. Grover agrees and they move forward. Tyson, Percy's brother was also with them. Annabeth wasn't ready to take him with them because he was a Cyclops. He ended her friend but she thinks because Tyson is a Cyclops. The person from whom we have to take the covering is also a Cyclops so Tyson will be useful. She agrees and gives him two eyes while sprinkling her magical spray for a short time. They call a taxi to come out of their camp. This was a taxi for the magical world and three sisters drive it. They were happy but got scared when they discover the sisters have no eyes. They have just one eye that a sister wears at a time to see. They get scared and while doing something the eye falls on Percy's hand. They take them to Washington but discover they have no money. They leave them there. After it, they have to travel on foot. Luke and his companion demigods attack them. While distracting Luke's companions have taken Grover with them. 
Luke wants to take the covering from the Cyclops while giving him Grover. Here, they were feeling helpless. They go to a man who sends the things of demigods in God's world in return for money. Percy tells him Luke's plan while reaching him. He requests him if he will tell him Luke's location they will save everyone as well as another friend. The man tells them Luke's location. He gives him some gadgets if he will apply it to anything it will disappear. The man has given a spray to Annabeth and it will release air while opening it. They were finding those gadgets useless at that time. They take the gadgets and move forward while thanking him. Because they have to catch Luke from the place told by the man. They were late because Luke has gone far from there in a ship. Tyson goes into the water and asks for help from his father while talking to the water. Poseidon sends a seahorse for them. They reach Luke's ship while sitting on it. As they reach a creature of Luke, a werewolf discovers their arrival. It attacks them. They come to the wrong place while escaping from it. There was Luke in front and Percy asked about Grover from Luke. Luke says he is at the place where he should be. Luke has given him to the Cyclops. He says now my companion will be bringing the covering in return for Grover from the Cyclops. Luke shows them a coffin in which there were the pieces of Kronos, the biggest god. Luke will revive him in return for the covering. After telling this, Luke orders his companions to lock them in jail. They were just thinking how will they come out from here. Percy reminds the gadget that was given by the man. He was thinking it was useless and was feeling everything will disappear from this tape. He thinks if he will put the tape on this jail the rods will also disappear. He notices their bag is outside the jail but in front of their eyes. The problem is how they will bring that bag near them. Percy gets an idea. He brings a storm into the sea while using his powers. The ship starts shaking because of it and as it falls near Percy, Annabeth holds it quickly. They move out from there while putting tape on the door. Their plan was to reach their destiny with the help of the small boat. Luke's companion again sees them. Percy makes a scheme and asks Annabeth and Tyson to move to the small boat. He was fighting with Luke's companion. And also has protected them while making a wall of water in front of their boat. Annabeth is also shown taking out the spray. It was given by the man and she makes the air pressure faster around her. Because of it, their small boat was moving forward quickly. Percy notices they moved forward so he also goes near them while lifting up a water wave. Luke also stands on the wave on which Percy was standing. Percy throws him far with the help of water while using his powers. He reaches the small boat. Moving forward, they were inside the Bermuda Triangle. They were surrounded by sharks on a gate. They realized after some time, these aren't sharks but a huge monster. The Bermuda Triangle is the belly of the monster. Clara is also shown inside who comes here to take that covering before them. She was also stuck in Bermuda Triangle with her ship. Percy discovers her ship is a warship. He says we will burst the belly of this creature while using this ship's functions and will move out. They do the same and attack the creature with a cannon present in the ship. They come out while bursting its belly and Percy noticed something written on the sea with his powers. He has discovered about the island where the covering was. They reach the island. They realize it was a joy land and it has been ruined. They move inside a cave while sitting on a train. They see Grover whom Luke sent there. Grover was clever and made his get up like Cyclops to escape. He has placed a third eye on his head from which the Cyclops thinks he is also a Cyclops. That's why the huge Cyclops didn't eat him but assigned him the job of a chef. They find the covering on the shoulder of the huge Cyclops. As they try to get the covering, it discovers there are demigods. It attacks everyone and Tyson falls down in this attack. They were trying to move out while taking the covering from its shoulder. The Cyclops was chasing them. They hurriedly come out of the cave. They shut the cave with a huge stone. They were happy because they have got the covering. They have locked the Cyclops. They were unlucky because Luke arrived to take the covering from them. He asks for the covering from them but Percy refuses. He attacks Percy with his gun on it. Before his weapon attacks Percy Tyson comes in front of him to save his brother. He has sacrificed to save his brother. Tyson fell into the water be accused of the wound. Everyone feels like he is dead. Luke is shown reaching Kronos's coffin while taking the covering. He places the covering at Kronos's coffin. Due to it, there were some magical waves. Like Kronos is reviving. Luke is shown and he has made everyone hostage. Percy clicks his pen cleverly. 
He releases Grover's hand while opening its sword. Like this, they release each other. They move forward to fight with Luke and his companion. As Luke was about to end Percy, Tyson enters. We saw him dead in the previous scene. It didn't happen because he fell into the water after shooting an arrow. He was the son of Poseidon the water god so the water has healed him and given him powers as well. Percy also becomes happy to see his brother. They were meeting and the huge god Kronos was reviving. His body parts were meeting while flying in the air. They meet in a few seconds and a huge god was made. As he revives, Luke says I have revived you. But it doesn't matter to Kronos so he eats Luke. The others also get scared seeing this. And moving forward, he was attacking everyone. He was about to crush everyone with his huge foot. Percy, on the other hand, cleverly moves under from his foot. On the other hand, Kronos has eaten Grover. Percy opens his sword and attacks his foot. And his foot cuts and foot parts were moving back to the coffin. The coffin from which it moved out. Percy understands he hasn't any ordinary sword but his father Poseidon also has ended Kronos with it. Kronos is also shown scared seeing the sword in his hand. He was attacking Percy. Percy doesn't accept his defeat and cuts his hand at sometimes his body parts. Percy courageously jumps and divides Kronos's body into two parts. Now Kronos was ended completely. He was again imprisoned in his coffin while changing into the light. As he was locked, Grover and Luke who were eaten by him fell down. The Cyclops also emerges from the cave where they have taken the covering. Luke has fallen in front of Cyclops. The Cyclops become happy seeing Luke because he was its food. Luke is shown dead but his creatures were still alive. They have attacked Annabeth. They revive Annabeth while using the covering. Percy gives it to Clara then. Because their leader has given this task to Clara. They reach the camp and Clara puts the covering on the girl. We saw her dying at the start and the girl also revives. Zeus's powerful shield of this camp also becomes again powerful. The covering has no power to make a demigod again a demigod. The girl has been reborn, but she is dressed as a human rather than as a demigod. Seeing the girl, Percy thinks his prediction is still incomplete. Zeus and Poseidon's kids will fight and revive Kronos. Later, fate and the Olympus world will be under them. With this thought of Percy Jackson, the movie ends.